You're watching Local 10, home of Local10.com and JustWeather.com. Off the top tonight at 11, it was big, it was bright, and it was beautiful. A rare show lit up the night sky tonight. If you haven't seen it yet, we are enjoying the biggest and brightest moon in the last 18 years. Many feared the tides from the moon would lead to flooding, but it appears tonight's moon was nothing more than a spectacular sight. Local 10's Janine Sandwood got a front row seat to the show, and she joins us live now from Miami Beach, where Janine, so far it's still dry, right? Yes, it is so far so good here, Jen, but you said it, no matter where you were in South Florida, that moon was absolutely beautiful. Yes, the tides get, did go up as scheduled. You can see the bay here is a little bit higher than it normally is, but that is normal. Thankfully, no major flooding here, just a lot of excitement up towards that sky. Peering over the horizon at Hollywood Beach, rising bright and bold in Palmetto Bay, this is a super moon. It's bigger than normal. It's, it's shinier than normal. I think it's very awesome. Only once every 18 years is it this close to Earth. The Southern Cross Astronomical Society's weekly meeting is rarely this big. The eyepieces are what gives the magnification on the telescopes. So I usually like to use a thing called bino viewers, which are these guys over here, which allows you to use two eyes instead of one. So you get like a little bit of stereo vision effect, and that's pretty cool. Sure, the pros have the tools. The moon is just above it. But Earthlings just need eyes to gaze at their lunar neighbor, that neighbor that wields power over our ocean tides. The moon governs the tides all around the globe. Fear was that this super moon would cause major flooding on Miami Beach. We are actually at 10th and Alton, one of the lowest spots on the beach. Take a look. Yeah, there's. A little bit of flooding, but that's normal for high tide. It's normal on this barrier island that drains from beach to bay. When the tide is up, water has nowhere to go but seep out of these drains. And the city was prepared for the worst. No need. No geophysical calamities at all. The supermoon's power seemed to be best in the eyes of its beholders. And you know, scientists really dismiss all of those conspiracy theories that the moon is going to cause havoc and it's going to cause people to act a little wild. Then again, though, Jen, we are in South Beach, so anything could happen tonight. And Janine, at South Beach, that means the night is young, so you be careful out there with that big, bold, beautiful moon. <laughs> we will indeed.